almost like he's denying us the the joy, the relief of a happy ending. Hey music friends, this is David Vasca, I'm a music composer for games and last week we listened to a track from Hollow Knight and I loved it, everybody loved it, so I'm doing it again. And some of you uh, mentioned to me that this soundtrack has a very interesting use of symbolic melodies or light motifs as, as we call them. So in order to in the future hopefully uh, recognize more of these melodies, I'm going to listen today to the main menu track. Some people told me that there are some important melodies here in the main menu theme. So yeah, I'm excited. Let's go. Very... Oh! Did you hear that? Okay, this is great, but hold on. Yeah, so I can already feel a lot of similarities with the sealed vessel track that we heard last week. Uh, especially the ending of it, which had that very sad piano, right? It sounded very similar to this, and this melody, hold up. Yeah, this melody feels... familiar. so happy right this is a very peculiar chord and again it, it's kind of similar to the sealed vessel track remember on the sealed vessel track when uh, I talked about and, and he used that a lot in the sealed vessel track the almost tense chord going to the tense chord so he on the sealed vessel track he would do stuff like this right uh, almost tense chord tense chord right and now what he's doing is something different. Did you hear how positive it sounds? It, it, it's very contrasting to the sealed vessel track. There's a lot of uh, innocence in this and tenderness, which I guess is, is appropriate for the beginning of the journey, right? This is the main menu theme, you listen to it at the very beginning of the game, before you even start playing the game. But the interesting thing about this happy chord that our friend Christopher Larkin is using here is that this chord actually does not belong in this key. If our friend Christopher was playing actually by the rules, if he, if, if he was using the correct chord here, it would be this. It's a sad chord. He, it, the, the chord that belongs in this position here is a sad chord. So Christopher went out of his way to insert a happy chord here where there shouldn't be one. I wonder what that means. Uh, of course, there's the thing of tenderness and innocence at the start of the journey that I talked about. But maybe in this whole tragic story that you guys explained to me in the last video, Maybe there's some sort of silver lining. Some positive, some bright side to all of this that Christopher is trying to hint at with this chord. And just real quick, let me... I know this video is about the main menu theme, but I just want to get back to Sealed Vessel just uh, a little bit to show to the people that maybe didn't know and, or didn't notice that they use the, the main theme melodies in sealed vessel let's see if we can find it oh yeah right here so remember the the main theme was right 
something like this. Here, they, they don't uh, use the whole thing, but they're, they're using fragments of it. Here you can see it. See? And they're gonna use more of it. And here at, at this last part, So, here the, the flute comes up doing a, another melody, but don't pay attention to the flute, pay attention to the piano underneath. The piano is doing this, which is the main theme, right? Pay attention to the piano. That's really cool, right? And I wonder if that melody on the flute means something as well. I guess I probably should go back to the main theme to find out. Okay, so we're back to the main menu theme. Happy chord. Again, that, that felt like a happy chord there, but it felt kind of weird, hold up. Okay, he did something very, very interesting here and almost kind of funny actually. So remember when I said that it, it felt a little bit like a happy chord, but it, it felt weird? He did this sequence here. So when a composer does these two chords, you know he's trying to, to build tension into a resolution, into a release of tension. So what I expect, what pretty much everybody expects that he's going to do next is this, right? So he does the, the two chords, it's a very predictable sequence. He does this, building tension, right? And what I expect next is, is this. Yay, happy chord, right? This is what he should have done. This is what was expected of this sequence. But instead, check out what he actually did. So what exactly is this? I'm, I'm going to call this a neutral, neutral chord. It's a neutral chord. It's not the happy chord that we wanted, but it's not like it's a sad chord either. This chord, it's a neutral chord because it lacks a third. The third is a note in, uh, in music that is responsible for letting us know if the chord is sad or happy. Uh, there's more to it, of course, but that, that's a, a simple way to explain it. And the composer here, instead of giving us a, a happy chord or, or a sad chord, he omitted the third, he removed the third, so we no longer know if it's a, a, a happy chord or a, or a sad chord. Instead, we have a neutral chord, and that's, that's frustrating, isn't it? Because it's like he's denying us that finale. He kept dancing and teasing this resolution for a long time, and when it finally comes, it's kind of a bittersweet uh, feeling. It's like he's denying us Oh wow, now that I think about it, it actually makes sense. It's almost like he's denying us the, the joy, the relief of a happy ending. Okay, let's keep going. disturbing oh 
he almost he almost gave us the resolution that we wanted but still he's, he's still denying it yeah so he's just doing this so he's still denying us the the full sad chord or the full happy chord we we don't know he's keeping it mysterious it was so cool to see in my last hollow knight video the depth of your appreciation the depth of your sensibility towards hollow knight music if you haven't watched that video yet it's over here and i've heard that hollow knight is kind of like a 2d dark souls right so i have an entire playlist of videos on the music of Soulsborne games over here. And remember, whenever you're ready to spread your wings and go on a music journey again, I'll see you there.